it's week five of the 2026 season. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Vikings and the Cowboys. And it's coming up next on Madden NFL 24. Just a gorgeous fall afternoon in the heart of Texas. No weather to speak of. Sun out, roof open. Yes, yes, and yes. A great day for football at AT&T Stadium in Arlington. Today, we've got a Week 5 matchup in store here, as it'll be the Minnesota Vikings taking on the Dallas Cowboys. Hello again, everyone. I'm Brandon Gordon, joined as always by Charles Davis. And Charles, you take a look at this Cowboy team entering play. The losers their last time out, so they'll look to make amends here. And one of the best ways you can do that is to be at home, and they are. They're going to try and ride that home crowd and that wave of emotion to a victory in this one. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Vikings, they come in feeling... Seems like we were...
enemy territory. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The first down carry for Davis. Oh, that one well designed as he'll take this down to the 30-yard line. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. So first and 10 now from the 30. Looking to throw. Gallagher. And he will lose yardage here to the 31-yard line. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple, and it's second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. And he's down into the red zone at the 16 after a gain of 16. First and 10. Charles, they won last week despite him not running the ball well. They told us need to get him going. Runs like that help. And they talked to us about leaning on him because, as you noted, last week they didn't have to. Still won the ball game. They leaned on other people to give him the yards that they needed. But they really want him to be that guy, and that's what they're doing early in this game. They'll try to run forward with Davis. And he is going to lose yardage here. A loss of two there, second down. That's a really alert defense there because they saw the heavy look come in from the offense, countered it with extra linebackers who brought a little bit of speed and heft and able to really make a big-time play for their defense. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Lyons. That time the completion goes for four yards, and we're set up with a third and goal. Back to throw. Gallagher. And it's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great effort there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Vikings have taken the lead. There was a lot of zip on that pass, and baseball might have called that a frozen rope. I like it when you bring the diamond into the game. I'm going back to the gridiron. Had some heat on that bad boy. Sometimes you throw a touchdown pass, and sometimes... You throw, what, a touchdown strike? There you go. That's my man in concert. Point after, right down the middle. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Cowboys in possession as they've got it with a first and 10. They will run with Grant. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. 50 yards rushing for him now. He's carried the ball just five times. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Here's Grant. Shrugs the tackle. Nice. And they'll get him down as he's inside the 40. 12 more yards there and another first down. Did you say this offense is locked in right now? They're having no trouble on this drive. What is it, three plays, three first downs? Yeah, you talk about on the march. They keep this up, they get to that end zone real fast. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. So the left side, it's complete. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 21. That one good for 16, and the drive will continue. And he's turning in a nice performance. Remember, he had the touchdown earlier, and this time he's able to beat double coverage to grab it. I think that if he weren't worried about a taunting penalty, he'd run by the opposing team's bench and say, guys, two's not going to be enough. You better get some more guys trying to cover me. He knows how to get open downfield. 
16 yards. A little deja vu from the previous play where they got 16. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. And he will take it in for the Cowboys score. A great play there. His first rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys are within an extra point of tying up this ball game. And he was excellent on that drive. He deserved to be the one to get across the chalk. Oh, I agree with you totally. A workhorse on the drive. And how about that last decisive run to punch it in? No going for two. They'll kick the point after. And we've got a good one, Berlin. We're all knotted up at 14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And it's finished off with a five-yard touchdown run. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. Their quarterback leading this offense back out. He had a couple of touchdown passes in that game last week, and he's matched that with two in the first half here as his guys start first and 10. They begin with a run by Davis. He finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. Ball on the 30 now. Here's a second down at six. Looking to throw. Gallagher. And he's going to have the connection to Foster. Call it a gain of a yard. And it's third and four now. In search of four yards here to pick up the first down. Out of the gun now on third down. That is caught. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. The end result, 21 yards. Had to put that ball in there with a little extra zip, but he put it right where it needed to be. Yeah, and that little extra pace that he had on the pass, that required a little extra concentration for him, didn't it? Ball can get on you pretty quick in that manner, and he handled it well and picked up the first down. From the gun, a give to Davis. And he edges forward, but only gets a pair of yards out of it, and it's second down. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. So they accept the penalty, of course, and push the offense backwards a bit. And that false start penalty is certainly not helping their cause here. Second down and long. Again, it's Davis. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. One yard is the loss. They back up even further to a third and 15. Tall task ahead of him here, needing a full 15 yards to move the chains. He's got his target. That's complete. And he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Boy, a nice play there as they wind up converting on third and 15. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They try and run on first down, but this one going to lose a couple yards as they get him behind the line. Well, that's not an easy play for a defensive end because most of his responsibility has him getting upfield and working. But how about his vision to see where the play was going? Crashed down inside and tackled him for a loss. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. This offense, two for two on third downs on this drive. They're in for a tough test here, though. Third and long. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 14. That good for 19 yards as they pick up the conversion on third. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A throw there that's going to wind up incomplete. As his old brain remembers, when I see five wide receivers on the field as a defender, I know the ball's coming out hot. They expected it and got there and popped it free. They'll look to throw again. Firing quickly, but it's incomplete. I know we're just in the second quarter and there's a ways to go in this game, but that's a second drop. I'm wondering if that's a little bit of an alarm bell for them when they start calling plays on the offensive side of the ball. His eyes already looking upfield on that last one before he brought it in. And he is stopped just short on third down. Got nine yards, but needed ten. 
That was a good effort there, trying to do it on his own. But as a defender, you're in a tough spot because you have coverage responsibilities behind you. And if you take off too quick to try to... for this team, but it's also seven extra days to think back to the last time you were on the field. So now, a little more importance on what they're getting done because they carry it with them for essentially two weeks. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. This is Grant, and he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. With his size, he's a tough man to bring down, but they do a nice job there stopping his progress and not allowing him to get back to the line of scrimmage. They find some open field here, and he will reach the eight-yard line before going out. And even 100 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here in this first half. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Back to throw. Short. And it's caught. Touchdown! A great effort there. His first NFL reception goes for six. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. That, of course, all set up by the big run on the play prior. They took advantage right away with the touchdown throw. And you mentioned advantage, probably taking advantage of their natural instinct after that previous play to be aggressive and rush towards the line of scrimmage. And instead, they were vulnerable to the pass. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. It's up and good to make it 21-17. Just a four-play drive that time, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. And he takes this near the 25, just a little pass there, call it the 26. Minnesota now ready for their next possession. Their drive last time, it stalled out. They were forced to take the short field goal. And the key phrase, you nailed it. Forced to, because you know coaches look at these short field goals as a last resort, right? To them, that's not how drives are supposed to end. You're supposed to put six on the board. That's a consolation prize, like going to the county fair. You don't get the big stuffed animal on that one, do you? No, you don't go top shelf. That's bottom shelf material. Rush coming, and he's taken down. They'll wind up losing a full nine yards here on the sack. Now it's third down. If you want a lesson on how to defeat an offensive tackle, that was pretty textbook. Is that a clip and save? Is yes. that, that's what's going to go around the league, and people are going to watch that and say, my goodness, that's how you do it? And I feel awful for the offensive tackle because we always talk about the athleticism of that guy who just beat him. Well, you have to be athletic to try and block that guy. Just in this case, the defense won. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Lions. It'll be a pickup of 14, but they're still a little bit short as it brings up fourth. The Vikings send out their punter as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Officially just 27 yards there on the punt. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. So here are the Cowboys to take over. They're on top here as they come up on a first and 10, trying to make amends for that loss week at the hands of Seattle. Throwing to start the drive. Short. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. Call it a gain of six on the play, and that'll make it second down. On second down now, it's Grant. Just a gain of a yard there, and now it'll be third down. I know the speed is the hallmark of today's NFL game, but the key to good rushing defense is still having your linebackers set the edge. 
from the gun on third down. Short, able to find the open man. That's complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down, although it doesn't appear to be by much. He needed four, and he got four on third down. Looking to throw. Short, looking left side for Watkins, and he's got it. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. Second and a couple. Back to throw. Short. Again, that's Watkins. And this is going to turn into another first down as the tackle is made at the Vikings 19. A good pick up there of 20 yards. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. So give him two yards there on the completion, and it'll be second down. Completion was given up, but that's why you play zone defense, so that you can have people around the ball when it's caught, and you don't give up much run after the catch. Second down and eight. Back to throw again. He's got Watkins on the out route. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. And this is caught for a Cowboy touchdown. A great play there with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Cowboys will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Well, to put it mildly, he's been able to dice up this secondary all game long, and this time, that was a missile that he threw into the end zone and adding another touchdown to his ledger. And I think we see these youngsters develop a lot quicker than we ever have because when they get started in this game, they're not just throwing passes around. They're reading coverages early, so now they're like seasoned players earlier in their career. How about this one here? If they win this ball game, a game ball, definitely coming from his head coach. The kick team out there for the Cowboys as they run up to send this one away. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30, up to the 33. The Vikings going to take over now late in this first half. And with him down two scores, you wonder if they might try and put something together, even if it's just to get into field goal range. On first down, Gallagher. Throw that side, complete to Foster. Look at the big fella go. The ball comes out, and this is going to kick out of bounds. Boy, a fortunate bouncer, too, there. They'll keep possession back inside the 10-yard line. Thankfully for the offense, a fortuitous bounce there on the fumble goes out of bounds because they're down here in the red zone. You don't want to lose one there. You don't want to lose one, and the best part, because it went out of bounds, they retain possession, still have an opportunity to put points on the board. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Now here's a look for the end zone, but that one's going to wind up incomplete. That is the first time that they've targeted him that he has not come down with a catch. He's caught everything that's been thrown his way. A dominant pass receiver that can break... He's got his man. It's taken in for a Viking touchdown. A great effort there as the first half is winding down. And the Vikings are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. And remember, partner, that's a rookie quarterback back there. Apparently, he's getting the hang of this NFL thing pretty quickly. At three touchdown passes. You're right, he looks comfortable. What are they doing, anything in particular? Well, they keep talking about making sure they're giving him plays that fit his talents and also maybe shrinking the playbook a little bit. They did tell us that. Bottom line, he's really good. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. 
So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we send you on over to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman in our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. All right, Brandon, we'll get back to you guys in a bit. But first, let's take a look around the NFL here on this first Sunday of October. Okay, Coach, thanks as always. This one's still anyone's game as we welcome you back for quarter number three. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. Out come the Cowboys now as he'll go on offense first here in this third quarter. But Charles, for them, pretty good first half on the ground. They had some success running the ball in quarters one and two, and they got the lead. Now a chance to expand upon that lead here with their first drive in the third quarter. Yeah, believe it or not, you and I have noticed that this great game of football has shifted towards pass first, run second. So for me, it's really nice to see some of these teams keeping the ground game is a big component of their offense, and it's working pretty well for them now. And let's face it, they can continue to do damage with it, and in addition, it sets up the pass game really well for them, too. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. Rookie to rookie on the hook up there, and it's a first down. And that's well executed there on third down. And I love the confidence that they have to let their tight end try and find some space in the middle of the field, right in their quarterback's line of vision. And QBs love to make that easy throw, and they hooked up there for a first down. And that's caught inside the 30. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. They give him a gain of 38. <laughs> well, this game has certainly had no shortage of offense. Both teams have been revved up from the start. And here's yet another big play. Boy, both defense have just got to be dragging out there because they've been run ragged throughout. So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and 10. Looking to throw. Short. And this is caught at the end. And the work is near the five. He'll be stopped at the six. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Under pressure, down he goes. Sacked at the 10. They'll wind up losing three yards there on the play as that'll lead to a second and goal. Operating from the gun. Short. Touchdown, Cowboys! A great play there with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Cowboys take the opening kickoff of the third quarter and drive right down the field to extend their lead. So whatever happened to rookie quarterbacks taking time to adjust to life in the NFL because this guy looks like he's been doing it for about, what, seven years? Four touchdown passes? That's not something rookies are supposed to be doing with the ease in which he's doing it. Extra point right down the middle, and that pushes the lead up to 11. And they'll get him down inside the 30 at the 27. It's the Vikings' turn on offense. We get ready for their first possession of the second half. They make their second half debut here, and things are looking a little bit tougher now. You give up the points there, Charles, that touchdown drive on the other side. So now it's a two-score game here. Got to be careful. They certainly do, and I'm just wondering at halftime if those guys just looked into each other's eyes and realized what they've got to get done and come out a little bit more charged up because they don't get some kind of points here. That next drive, that could make this a free possession game. 46 yards rushing for him now as he's run it 11 times. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. 
Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Nice rhythm throw there on first down. He located his tight end, made a nice, easy pitch and catch. Hoping he can break a tackle or two. Wasn't able to do that there, but still good yardage. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield after a gain of about four. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Back to throw. Gallagher is complete to Jones. And he will have a Vikings first down, and he'll have it by plenty as they're able to keep the drive alive on third and inches. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Blitz coming, and down he goes. It'll be a loss of seven on the sack, and it brings up second. So a great play there for this highly regarded linebacker making his first career sack. And his versatility on display right through an opening, and there he goes. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 24-yard line. That'll wind up a gain of 27 on the catch and run. That's the number two receiver in the NFL in terms of yardage. And tell you what, a few more plays like that, he won't be number two for long. But well, that's what often happens when you have competitors running around the field. These guys know where they stand in relationship to yardage, totals, numbers, the whole deal. And let's face it, all of them, they all want to be number one. They'll get him to the ground at the 20, following a pickup of four. I don't care what the emphasis is in the NFL at any given time. Every defense is still going to say their number one goal every game is stop the... It's caught in the end zone. Touchdown, Minnesota. A great effort there with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Vikings are back within a score. So a strong drive here to lead off this third quarter and get some right back in this football game. And I think we can safely call that a statement drive because they had to be saying, we have put our best foot forward in the first half, but we certainly mean business now. Maybe a better term, a prove it drive. They proved it to themselves that they were ready to go. Being chased out well. And he will get into the end zone to cut the lead down to a single point. I guess the coach looked at the two-point cheat sheet, said go for it, get it to a three-point game, and they did it. Yeah, and sometimes you just throw out time of game. You don't worry about that. There's just a feel sometimes in making that call. And he felt good about what he had for a two-point conversion. And now they're only down three and feeling great about themselves. So just a three-point game now as they send this one away. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. Dallas offense set for this next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for them. Momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And this is going to be a Cowboys first down as he gets this up past the 30. It's been an excellent day for him running the football, no doubt, as he continues to soar well past 100 yards. Yeah, it almost feels like he can just grab his briefcase and head home after putting in a full day's work at the office, doesn't it? And he'll get this one up to about the 39 here. A solid run on first down, gain of seven, leaves him with a second and three. They'll keep it on the ground. Grant. And now off to the races, down the right side. And he's going to get this all the way down to the Vikings 28. 171 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Well, partner, I have to say they caught him in the right defense there. Nickel set, fifth defensive back on the field. And they love to run against that because now you typically get a bigger blocker on a smaller defender. Yeah, because those DBs like you, they want the interception. They're not as worried about the running play, right? <laughs> not at all. And I, I, used to, I, I still remember being in school and one of my offensive line teammates used to say, boy, I'd love to come downfield and hit you little people. <laughs> Good run there. And second and 10, he'll look to throw again. Throws right side, and that's complete. Touchdown! And correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route. Worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that? What a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. 
Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes they get one look and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. Extra point splits the uprights and his guys will take a 10-point lead. And able to take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. And now out comes Minnesota. A strong showing their last time out. They scored the touchdown, but Charles, they looked up, and they're still down double digits, so you feel like just to keep pace, this drive probably needs to end in the end zone as well. Yeah, and I think the best move for them is to not worry about how far they are down on the scoreboard, but to just remember the last drive and how it ended. Go ahead and try and repeat that. Then you can look at the scoreboard and see where this game is. Caught by Jones. And to the 36-yard line, taken down there after getting eight yards. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Vikings first down as they get five there on third and two. I like the fact that they didn't overcomplicate things on that call. Third and two, just run the quick little hitch, which they did. Balls out of quarterback's hands, and yes, indeed, they took up the first down. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. 12 yards there, first down Vikings. First down Vikings. Off play action, Gallagher. It's caught on the right side, Williams. And he'll get nothing out of that one. So nothing doing there, and it's second down. Looking to throw, Gallagher. Jones goes diving, and he's got it. These two have hooked up nine times now this afternoon as they pick up the first. Every guy that plays this game has plenty of people around him that are concerned for his health and well-being. He had no regard for his body on that catch at all, did he? <laughs> Middle of the field diving to grab it? No, he didn't. Quick throw going to be caught by Foster. Only able to gain a couple there, and that will bring up second down. Back to throw. Gallagher. Open man here is Foster. A minimal gain there on the eighth play of the drive. And they'll be in search of six yards here on third down. This is now the ninth play of the drive. Buying time to his left. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and it'll give him a new set of downs. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Off the play fake. Gallagher. And he's going to go down. Back at the 27-yard line, he's sacked. It'll be a loss of 10. And it'll bring up second. And this dominant defensive performance continued on that play. This poor quarterback has now received the protection he needs and has had to pick himself up off the turf far too often. And the job becomes twice as difficult now after the sack. It's second and 20. Dancing to his left. And he's going to go down again. He'll go in the books as a seven-yard loss on the sack. And it's third down. Boy, a tough spot here as they approach the line of scrimmage. A long way to go to try to pick up this first down. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Now uh, with a rookie quarterback out there, you definitely got to find out how he handles adversity because this one so far hasn't gone according to plan. He's got to fight through it and show him what he's made of. And his kick is absolutely perfect. And this is back down to a seven-point game. So give him three on that drive. You know, normally you'd say, we'll take it. But the way points have been flying around, it feels like a little bit of a letdown. Yeah, you just have to wonder, are field goals going to be enough? Because as you pointed out, the way touchdowns have been scored, does kicking a field goal actually put you at a disadvantage the rest of the way? So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Throwing on first down. Short throw left side complete. That's Grant. So no gain on the play. And it'll be second down. No gain on the play. Brings up second and ten. At the 
Operating from the gun. Short. That's complete to his running back, Grant. So the completion good for six yards. And it brings up third and five now. Looking to throw. Short. He finds his man complete. That's Watkins. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. So it was already a gain on the completion, but tack on some more with that penalty. Absolutely, and no matter what angle you're making the tackle from, you can't grab the face mask, and that's just putting your defense on its heels just a little bit more. So the penalty yards marched off on the face mask. Here's first and 10. Up the middle they go. It's Grant, and nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. From just shy of midfield, here's second down and eight. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. How good has he been throwing the football, though? And despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. And Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation, trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football, and it leads to more completions for them. Out now comes the Cowboys punter, as he'll kick it away for the second time. Oh, it's a wobbler here. And that will hit and continue on out of bounds. Now the Vikings offense works their way back onto the field. Last time out, you remember their drive stalled, but thanks to their kicker, booted a long field goal to at least get them three. Now here they'll try to do better and find the end zone. And in our experience, how much fun is it for coaches to know that they've got a kicker who can nail it from long distance? Now the hard part is, as an offensive play caller, you don't want that in your head too much where you're relying on it. And he goes out and gets the job done for them. But I'm quite sure he would be content to just kick extra points from here on out. Yeah, absolutely no push. I think his teammates would be okay with him just kicking the extra points as well. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. A good pick up there, 26 yards. I like the design that we're seeing right there. This is what they need. Down by a touchdown here in the fourth. They just need to keep working their way downfield. And when they see openings, take their shots. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 46. Again, he'll drop to throw. He dumps this off underneath. Here's Davis. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Brings up second and two at the 38-yard line. Back to throw. Gallagher. And that falls to the ground incomplete. A nice job of bodying him up defensively. And now it brings up third down. Looking to throw. Gallagher. And unable to connect. If he had caught it, it would have been a first down. Instead, it's fourth. Oh, man. For him to be that wide open and drop it, sometimes you have just too much time on your hands, right? You end up thinking way too much, and your hands get shaky. And yes, he's a tight end, but that's a catch you should have made. Well, we kind of looked at each other as they decided to go for it, but in the end, great execution, a six-yard gain, and it all works out. On first and ten, Gallagher. And his throw is going to be incomplete. He didn't just deny a big throw there. He broke that one up in the red zone. An excellent play, one that may help save points on the board when this drive is over. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys 19. That'll put him up over 160 yards receiving now for the game. They can't seem to stop it. Forced out to his left. And he will not make it back to the line of scrimmage as he's going to be taken down. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. The sack cost him only a yard. It's second and 11. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. 
to throw on third down. Gallagher. And he's got it. Touchdown, Vikings. From 21 yards away. And the Vikings are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. And we are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. The try here for the extra point. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. So that drive, 12 plays in length. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. The Dallas offense back out onto the field. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown. All tied up in the fourth quarter. And a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning drive right here. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Oh, a heck of a move. Yeah. And he's brought down, giving this one up to about the 35. Successful start to the drive, 17 yards, and moves the sticks. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Operating from the gun, short. Oh, and a heck of an effort there as he'll make the diving catch. It's another first down as this time they get an even 20. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me. And I'm going to keep firing. From Viking territory now, they'll come up first and 10 at the 45-yard line. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. Back to throw. Short. Quick hitter here. It's complete. We'll go down as a gain of six. And now we've got a third and four. Looking to throw. Short. And that is incomplete. Oh, he had a defender right there with him to force that to the ground. And fourth down now coming up. Out now comes the Cowboys punter as he'll come on to kick this one away. And here's a very low line drive, almost whiffed on it. Just 21 yards on the punt there. And the Vikings will be backed up deep to begin their drive as they take over first and 10. Minnesota's offense takes over possession. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. And he's going to have to eat this one as down he goes. The sack recorded. It's a loss of five, and now it's second down. Back to throw. Gallagher. That's Foster hauling it in over the middle. And brought down, but not before reaching the 25. His big game continues. Ten catches now, and another first down. I like what I'm seeing from them here. Tie game in the fourth quarter. They understand the situation. They don't need to be in any rush. Go ahead and huddle up and run your offense. That last completion put them in a nice position to take the lead. And got his man complete. Now he's into the clear again. Touchdown, Vikings. 75 yards and the Vikings strike quickly to take the lead here in the fourth well Charles kind of the future of this franchise on display right there you had a rookie throwing it a rookie catching it and taking it into the end zone could you imagine if we were in the owner's box right now and we could look at the front office and see the grins on their faces to see the present making plays and knowing what the future will bring with these youngsters going out and making big-time moments happen for this team. Point after, right down the middle. And they will take a seven-point lead. Minnesota's kick team ready, and the Vikings boom it away. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. The Cowboys offense heading back out and ready to go again. 
They now trail by seven after that last touchdown here in the fourth quarter. What a big spot for this offense. See if they can cobble something together on this drive. On first down, short. A quick throw there is incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. Another throw on second down, and this one incomplete as well. Possibly a turning point. Big play coming. This is third and long. He's got his target. That's complete. He's to the 15. Touchdown, Cowboys. A great effort there. 76 yards. And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying this game here in the final minutes. As a former DB, you might not like to see that, but from a wide receiver's perspective, those are the plays they dream of. Correct on both counts. <laughs> All right, because once he took off, I mean, let's face it, that should have been done in big sky country. There aren't any speed <laughs> limits out there. And off he went. I'm glad I wasn't the one trying to chase him. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Well, this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And he's up across the 25 and down at the 28. And now out comes Minnesota. Well, they just gave up the score to tie it. That's the bad news. The good news, plenty of time in this fourth quarter to try to grab that lead back. Throwing on first down, Gallagher. And that is incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him He's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, Davis. And he'll be tackled at about the 35. I think we can safely say that those types of plays are the backbone of this offense. We know not every run's going to be a big hitter, but you know they'll take that type of result on each and every attempt. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. But the kind of game he's had so far, you had to know that on third down, that they would be looking his way, and they did for big yardage and a first down. I think the defense fell asleep at the switch on that one. I would have doubled him, tripled him, anything to keep the ball out of his hands. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And that'll be off the mark too far out in front, and it's incomplete. The way he's throwing the football today, also surprised when he doesn't complete a pass like happened there, but he needs a few more to get his guys downfield. Well, the way he's throwing it leads him to believe that he's going to get those completions. That means the guys going out for passes, they'll run even harder because they expect it as well. Well, this crowd is making an impact right now. Third and ten. Now yet another incompletion here as they fail to connect on third. Boy, this sets up for a huge call now on fourth down because you can try the long field goal, you could go for it, or you could punt and play for overtime. I am so glad, partner, that I don't have to make those kind of decisions. Let's see what they decide. They're pretty woeful there, just 23 yards on the punt. And they will take over first and 10. The offense for the Cowboys now working their way back onto the field. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. They can repeat that in Charles's defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. Yeah, he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. Could this be the drive that ultimately wins the game? How about the initiative he just took there? Running with it after he couldn't find the throwing lane, and he drove them into range for a game-winning field goal with that play. What an opportunity they've been presented to come through with the win. This is first and 10. Now a handoff up the middle. 
Grant. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. The Vikings going to signal for the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Now a timeout called for by the defense as the clock will stop with a minute six left to go in the game. And he will have a Cowboys first down by a couple of yards as they're able to get four there on third and two. Up the middle they go. It's Grant. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line of the three. Probably had 60,000 thinking pass right there, including us in the booth. Yeah, no doubt about it. That was a big call. Big guts on that one. And guess what? That run, it'll pay dividends. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And that's a touchdown. Some good running there at the end of the drive. He had the burst that set up the first and goal, and then one play later, he's in the end zone. Brandon, what I liked about that sequence is I'm not sure who made the play call, but they understood the situation, understood the momentum. A nice hard charging run, give it right back to him and let him cap things off. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. Up to midfield. Look at him go inside the 30. And he's all the way in for the touchdown. I don't see any flags, Charles. And in the final stages, the return touchdown has him an extra point away from tying this up. You're exactly right. The field is clean. It's going to count. Yes, sir. That touchdown puts him in striking distance. And let me tell you something. Forget being conservative here. Go for it. Go for two. Well, going for it on the road. Want to win it right now? Want to win it right now? Have the momentum? Go ahead and get it done. And now they're going to go for two and a possible win as this crowd rises to make things difficult. And it is caught. They got the two points. And with it, they've taken the lead. And boy, you want to talk about guts. Guts is going for two when you're down one in that spot right there. Do they not trust their kicker? Did they not feel that it was time to go ahead and do that? Or did they just say, we've got a play on that we're so confident in, we're going to go ahead and do it? I'm going to say they're going to say that in the press conference. Back to throw. And that'll be incomplete with just six seconds left on the clock. They'll try again here, second and ten. One final shot, they'll look to throw. And he comes back with one complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Well, it took us until the final play, Charles, to officially decide a winner, although on that last play they were so backed up it would have taken a miracle and they couldn't get that miracle done. Well, I like how you stayed with it because we both knew that this had to go down to the last play and neither side was going to exhale until that play concluded because we've seen the improbable before. A couple of laterals, maybe 